first day of camping is in the books. I pulled it off a couple times last night, but I think it was the eel just messing with me. All of our Oamas died, unfortunately. I don't think the aerator was just doing enough for it. We'll try maybe catch some more Oama today or tonight, the same way we did last night, and then throw them out. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna swim some lines out a little bit further and see if we can get some better luck doing that. But um, yeah, first night, strike one. guys so it's day three of this long camping trip pretty uneventful um, last night I was just so tired I didn't really fish that much I had one pull out with some tohe um, that Kyler gave me and didn't catch anything with that the night before we lost a lot of the Owama we we're gonna use the Owama to fish with it in the morning but not a lot of them survived so it's pretty difficult to fish with live bait if the baits not even alive anymore but today we're gonna go spear fishing it's a little windy it's about 10 o'clock Jump in the water, gonna check some malu houses. Maybe you can catch like a big omilu, maybe a lot of fried fish grinds, some impachi, some avail veils. Hopefully, we can make up for the rest of the camping trip with one big fish today. So, let's keep our fingers crossed. Because there's gonna be a lot of caves potentially, I'm gonna try out this dive light. It was sent to me by Orca Torch. This is the D550, max is 1000 lumens, and I tested this out already, and it's super bright at night so hopefully it'll work as we're trying to look in the caves and seeing where these menpachis, these avail veils, these alihis are. So I kind of opened it upside down but usually it would look something like this. This is the light right here. Let's turn it on. See just how bright that is. Look at that. Comes with a battery charger so you can just plug in the batteries in here right after you're done. And then this right here is actually like a glove where you can put the flashlight on top of it. This is your clip to keep it on. And then this looks like some O-rings. Um, but yeah, let's read the instructions afterwards. I'm just going to take this out with me today. Hopefully it'll come in handy as we're looking inside of these caves. So I'm going to put it together right now. Aloha guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii. Today we are checking out this new dive light. This is actually the first time that I've used a dive light during the daytime. Um, so I want to see how useful it will be to catch a lot of these whole fish like Mempachis, the Veil Veils. The spot that we're diving currently holds a lot of these types of fish. So having a dive light even during the daytime will come in handy. As you guys can see right there, I'm putting it right over my wrist. Maybe the next time I dive with this dive light, I'll use the glove that comes with it, the attachment. I just didn't want anything too bulky and I wanted to see how it would work using it like this for now, which is pretty fun. So this is actually our third and last day camping and this is also our third day in a row of us spear fishing and we reserved a lot more time on this day in particular because we wanted to see what kind of fish these grounds were holding. Like I mentioned, I wanted to check at least one Alua house out and take home some fried fish grinds, um, but it kind of sucked because the wind picked up super early in the morning. The two days before this, it was super nice, so we probably should have spent a really long dive trip on the two days prior, but you can never control the conditions. You can only control the controllables, especially when you're spear fishing. You gotta work with what you got. Right here, I'm taking a drop with my flashlight in one hand and my three prong in the other. And you gotta make sure you have enough weight on your weight belt to keep you down if you guys are gonna be doing this. As you can see, I'm looking in this hole. There's a Mimpachi right here. You see that flash of red. So I'm kind of waiting it out, seeing if he'll give me a shot. But unfortunately, this guy was way too sporadic. I'm gonna try to drop down again and see if he'll give me a shot. It's my second attempt on the same fish and I could have shot one of those Coles right there, but I really wanted to shoot this Mimpachi, really solid size one but it's just kind of he's just way too sporadic in the hole and that's the frustrating thing about mempachis is sometimes they're so easy to catch them and other times they make it super difficult as you'll see in the rest of this video with no success on the flashlight three prong combination i grabbed my spear gun and i loaded it up to try to see if i can catch an allure shoot an alua in this shallow house and this may not seem like much as you guys will see i'm taking a little dip underneath this little shelf and there's a lot of space a lot of openings trust me this spot right here holds big aluas or at least big omilus i had a friend shoot a 20 something pounder in this hole 
and I've seen fish in this multiple times. Um, so unfortunately there was no one home today, um, but maybe next time we can catch a big one. And these rounds in particular, I don't really use my spear gun a whole lot just because there's so much more potential when you're using a three prong. But for some reason today, the fish were just really skittish. Um, had a hard time even finding some of them when usually these holes are pretty abundant with different types of species. Um, but there was some divers here before we jumped in in the morning. This is around 9, 10 o'clock that we first started diving, which is pretty late. But um, even prior to this in the morning, there was some divers out there. And I'm not sure if the GoPro footage does it justice, but using a flashlight, even during the daytime in caves is pretty effective. It allows you to hone in on one spot. And with Mimpachi, sometimes it's kind of hard to see them when they're in the hole. Sometimes you just see a silhouette and you're kind of guessing where you're shooting. Um, so you guys will see right here, I'm gonna take a look at what Kyler's seeing as he's pointing the flashlight inside of it so you guys seeing that flash of red um, that's kind of what we we're seeing all day is the mipachis were there they're just swimming back and forth so fast very sporadic pretty skittish um, which is kind of unusual for this spot and i was hesitant on posting this video because most of my spear fishing vlogs you see me catching fish but you are spear fishing you're not spear catching all the time even though you do put yourself in more and better opportunities when you guys are underwater hunting the fish um, but sometimes you just can't control whether or not the fish is going to give you shots or whether or not the fish is even going to be there. The funny thing is, as we're swimming in, my GoPro is already dead and I had my three prong in my hand. I went to check the Olua house and there was a small Olua, nice size Omilu inside of the hole. Went to grab my spear gun and tell Kyler, swam back and he was gone. So we did see some big fish on this dive, but overall it was kind of a bust. The water was bust. Um, but yeah. Having a dive light can be successful if the fish give you an opportunity to shoot it. This right here was from the day before on a half an hour dive. So sometimes you just can't really control it, but at least we caught fish during this camping trip. And make sure you guys tune into the next video where I feature this dive light, the Orca Torch. These lights can come in handy for a lot more things than diving, and I will be giving one away. So make sure you guys tune into that episode. Shoots mahalo. See you later. Bye-bye. I got a mini bachi and it's full of man bachi and I seen a few lobbies for you. A cooler full of beers and it's all right here and the Rockies are already blue. So if you don't mind, I'll be taking my time cause the sunset is gonna be mean. And if I had to choose, I would probably just cruise because this is the life for me. Say. This is the life.